So, let's kill two birds with one stone today. Um, right behind me is a skate park right across from the Echo Park Lake here in Los Angeles. This is technically the closest park to me, even though I don't skate it as much. So today I'm gonna highlight this park and I'm also gonna answer a question that was asked of me a while ago that I have an opportunity to answer. So first I wanna thank all the patrons, really appreciate you guys. Yesterday I just uploaded a deep dive into heel flips as well as the uh, question submission for March's Q&A. So if that's something you're interested in participating in, that or one-on-one -on -one video lessons with me, consider joining the Patreon group. I've been asked before how I go about coming back from an injury. And while I'm not coming back from an injury per se, I have been off my skateboard for 12 days because I caught COVID for the fifth time. And it was, I'd say it was like the second worst time that I've had it. So it wasn't the worst, but it was awful. Um, and I've noticeably lost some muscle mass. I've definitely lost some stamina. And so I have to go about getting back on my board strategically. Even this morning when I awoke from a pretty good sleep, I slept a little over eight hours, I still didn't feel rested and I ended up lying in bed for another hour. Uh, going up and down my steps at home has been a bit challenging for me. So I have to ease back into skating. So I'm gonna highlight this skate park and I'm also going to show a little bit of my skating, show how I get back into this. So let's talk about the Echo Park skate park first. Uh, this place was built I believe in 2019, there used to be a swimming pool here. Right behind me, there's a ledge that's pretty famous. Back in the day, I'd say 2003, maybe 2004, Victor Fanash, who I'd say most of you guys probably won't remember, but he rode for Shorties, who was also my first like major sponsor back in the day. And he had an ad crooked grinding this ledge. There's been other tricks done on it over the years. It's a pretty famous ledge. Used to be next to the community swimming pool here that I think was closed for a while. And in 2019, I think in 2018, I heard that they were gonna do it. And then in 2019, they built the skate park. Now, because of the pandemic, there was never an actual grand opening for this park because it was supposed to happen, I believe in, August of 2020 and because of complications with the pandemic and everything it never ended up happening so people were skating the park anyway and at some point I remember they just started to allow people to skate here they stopped trying to close it up and ever since then it has been open and this is a pretty good skate park it's got a lot of small bump to ledges it's got a, a, an elongated three stair uh, the three stair has a circular rail down it. It's also got a five stair that's a bit stretched and mellow and that one has a square rail. And right behind me, you can see the, you can see some of the three stair, but you can also see my favorite obstacle here, which if you watch my YouTube, my Instagram, you know that I've done quite a few tricks on this high ledge over here. And that ledge is one of my favorite to practice higher tricks on when I'm gonna do them in the street or just to make sure that my pop is right. And uh, it's not the easiest to skate because of the ride-up situation, which I'll show you guys behind this as I'm talking, but it is good to prepare you for the street. So it's got walls on either side. So you basically have to use the small transition on either side to skate this obstacle. Now this park has also got a bowl and the bowl is pretty good. Um, you know, I'm not a bowl skater, not much of a transition skater, but I do use this bowl to warm up. It has a pretty fun hip that you can do tricks over. It's got a manual pad section, which I've skated a little bit, not too much. It's a bit tight for me, but it's also got a really good bump to a makeshift parking block that's elevated a bit. So you can really have a good time skating this park. Another favorite thing of mine is that there are ramps on all of the different sides of the park. 
which makes it easier for this place to have a flow. The other thing that I like is that the park is pretty much level, so it doesn't really favor going to one side. Like Lake Street, which I haven't done a video on the actual park, but I've filmed a lot of my videos there. Like that park slants in one direction. So if you're trying to skate in the opposite direction, it presents some challenges and especially for beginning skaters. But this park is pretty level, so you don't have those issues. Um, there's also a bank that you can wall ride out of and that's pretty fun uh, there's also a ledge you could do tricks onto the ledge out of a bank and there's also like a, a mellow small hubba down it those are both pretty fun and then there's a bump to a long ledge and you can skate that in either direction so this place has pretty much everything that you would want at a skate park and it's a lot of fun so now Let's talk about me and uh, me coming back to skating. So because of my stamina issue and also because of the amount of muscle mass that I've lost in the 12 days that I've been sick, I cannot just come out swinging straight out of the gate. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take it trick by trick, very mellow. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is pump around the park. That's always the first thing that I'll do when I come out and start skating, and especially when it's been a while. So now I'm just gonna film some tricks, show you how I ease into it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I challenge myself a bit today, but not that it's so much that I risk getting injured or something like that, right? Because ideally I wanna ease back into skating so that I can get right back to where I was before I got sick in the first place. This bump to ledge is like the perfect thing to do your first tricks of the day on. Wow. First try in two weeks and I almost died. I think I'm gonna warm myself up on this and then ease into the longer one. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Any of you guys who's had this illness, you know how bad it can deplete you. And uh, I usually try to jump right back in, but it doesn't always work out. So yeah, I'm like a complete beginner right now. <laughs> I could barely 5-0 this ledge. It's a little embarrassing. It's kind of crazy, um, but it's okay. I'll work myself back up to steam. not feel good so I'm gonna do a few more of those third time was the charm that one felt a lot better let's see if I can do a little no slide big spin thingy so hard it's like uh, I've been skating like 20 minutes and I already feel winded uh, so land this and then maybe I'll do some mellow stuff over the bank even though flip tricks are kind of scaring me right now but we'll see bad. 
but I'll take it. The big question is, can I kickflip yet? That's gonna be the fun one, so. Another one. These are killing me right now. I like almost feel like I'm gonna fall over. It's insane. Flip tricks are killing me, so probably no more flip tricks for a bit. But uh, let's see how I can do with the rails. I'm like, I'm like almost about to pass out. So. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna skate, but let's at least get some handrail stuff in there. Little rail was fun, but I honestly felt like I was gonna get smoked the whole time. Just putting a Smith grind on it was like the scariest thing ever. So let's see if I can skate the big ledge here, my favorite thing at this park right now. I have a sneaking suspicion that it's gonna be challenging, but I have to do at least some things on it. We'll see. It's usually a sad time when you break your board, but I was getting tired and so I'll take it. It ended the session for me before I started to outstep my boundaries. But yeah, just like whenever I'm coming back from an injury or something like this, like I just take it nice and easy. Um, try to challenge myself with some of the tricks as I think you guys could see, but I don't go outside of what seems like we're I don't go to the point where it seems like I might get hurt because it's not worth it I'm not capable of doing much right now anyway I have to build back up build my stamina back up build some of my muscle mass back up like yeah it's it's kind of crazy some of my pants are fitting looser uh, definitely lost some muscle but and then Echo Park skate park it's amazing it's right across the street from the lake the one thing that some people complain about is the freeway. So that's the 101 freeway behind us. And there's a lot of dust in here. <laughs> you know, uh, when it first opened up and they, and they weren't cleaning it, I fell and I like landed in some dirt. And then I got like a little swelling on my index finger so that's something to think about but that hasn't happened since that was like back in 2020 that it seems like they clean it out now but yeah some people don't like the noise of the freeway um but it doesn't bother me one bit so it's a great park right across the street from the lake so if you're in la if you're in the 90026 area come check it out and then yeah i hope that uh that helped answer your question like about how I come back from an injury I know it's not an injury but it definitely does feel actually worse than some of my latest injuries that I've had because 
Typically when you're, when I'm injured, I can still work out the parts of my body that aren't injured. But with COVID, I wasn't able to do that. And as you can hear, I've lost my voice already. It's only like a hour long session, maybe a little longer than an hour. And I'm already like rendered pretty much useless. I'm glad I broke my board so that I didn't keep pushing myself, but uh, I'm going to go get a meal and uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, consider joining the Patreon. Go to clubdisc.com and buy one of my collage decks. Support. Peace. This graphic is awesome. I know a lot of people had asked when we were going to bring this lover's graphic back and we brought it back through club distribution. So check it out.